Tonight, people in East Tennessee are fighting a fire not seen in that state for more than 100 years. Gatlinburg is a place of fond memories for many people around here, but the memories being made in the Smokies tonight are those of nightmares. Good evening, everybody. Parts of Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, places more than 11 million people visit every year, are destroyed. Three people have lost their lives, and tonight there are prayers for rain, but fears of wind. The fires have destroyed a hotel, an apartment complex, and hundreds of homes, including the home of Gatlinburg's mayor. Vehicles are burned to shells, but some of the damage also depends on where you go. In many cases, destroyed properties are next to properties that appear untouched. And some people don't know if their homes are still standing. It is frustrating. It is frustrating because literally everything I own is in that little apartment. So, uh, you know, I don't know if I have nothing or if I have enough to start over with. It's horrible. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's devastating to, you know, I mean, all those people lost their homes and businesses and everything else. I mean, things they've worked hard for. It has been a dizzying 24 hours, to say the least. Brandon Orr tells us how it got to this point. We've been talking about wildfires in the Smoky Mountains for weeks now, but Monday afternoon, conditions came together in all the wrong ways to make fire growth explosive around very populated areas like Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. Take this into perspective. Four, five o'clock on Monday afternoon, people in Gatlinburg were told that the fires were 10 to 15 miles away they were safe. In the span of an hour or two, firefighters were knocking on doors to cabins throughout Gatlinburg, telling them they need to get out now. They need to drop everything they're doing and leave. Winds gusted as a cold front moved through upwards of 87 miles per hour, which took embers from those fires that were 10 to 15 miles away and spread them over places like Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. In addition, those wind gusts of 87 miles per hour knocked down a lot of power lines, which in turn started more fires because the ground is so dry here. They are in a rainfall deficit in excess of 20 inches for the entire year. That's an exceptional drought and conditions tonight will hopefully be improving. Rain is expected to start shortly and shortly and continue into the early morning hours, and I'm expecting upwards of one to two inches of rainfall here. That's a whole lot more than the half inch that fell Monday night into Tuesday morning. Hopefully that can put uh, dampen some of these fires and get them under control throughout the day on Wednesday. We'll be here overnight and throughout the day on Wednesday monitoring how much rain actually falls and how much that will help these fires get under control. Also, they'll be doing damage assessments throughout the day tomorrow. In Pigeon Forge, Brandon Orr, Local 12 News. And you